Major Mohammad uh, Shah, defense expert, uh, is live with us on the broadcast. Morning, Major Shah. How do you view uh, this development as far as U.S. is concerned? The U.S. is trying to convince the world that the latest addition to Pakistan's aircraft fleet will not act as a deterrent or will not change status quo in the region. But we all know what Pakistan's ultimate goal is. Given the scenario, what do you think India's options are considering? India has forged extreme extremely close ties with the U.S. in the past few years, especially, of course, with our Quad cooperation together. See, uh, Minakshi, uh, giving support to Pakistan, which means you are aiding, you are giving support to terrorism. It's as simple as that. And till now, officially, I am surprised why Pakistan has not been declared as a terrorist country as well. Now, giving them... 4.5 billion a million dollar aid. I mean, and F-16 aircraft, the fighter jets, that high tech. So it is really, it is a bit, I would say, in a way, two faced as well on US side. Because US says something and does something else. So what's the difference between then China and US then? Let me ask a very logical question. China says something and does something else. US also, with all uh, unbiasedness, I'm speaking my heart out. Clearly that, you know, okay, U.S. says, we believe in one China policy that come to China. Nancy Pelosi had come to China. And she, and, but on the other hand, they were conveying a message that they still believe in one China policy. Now, U.S. curb says we are going to curb terrorism, but they are helping Pakistan. And Pakistan is a terrorist state. There is no doubt, there is no denying that the whole world knows that they have been exposed a number of times. They are experts in IT, not information technology, but international terrorism. And when US comes in overtly and supports them, it really does not send a good message. It gives a very, very wrong message. See, what Russia is doing right now to Ukraine is wrong. Hmm? But when the US does the same thing to other countries, then it's acceptable. US can do anything unethical. They can do anything wrong, which the world will accept. Why? Because they've got power. So it is really, I mean, one should practice what they preach. One should walk the talk. One should believe in what they're doing. But US is not, I'm sorry to say, they have not, and they were the ones to come out and preach to India. When we were buying oil from Russia, and Joe Biden had the uh, gumption to say that India's stand is shaking. No, sorry. Look what US does. Look, I mean, let me get back to Iraq. Well, after the September 11th attack uh, on Pentagon and Twin Towers, U.S. launched a war on terrorism. Fair enough. They, and they should have. Fair enough. Afghanistan, fine. Iraq, Libya. What for? They, uh, they killed uh, uh, General Gaddafi. They uh, killed Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein, who did had no idea. Who must have got to know about Osama bin Laden's bombing the same time when you and I got to know through television? Look at the torture that Abu Ghraib jail in Iraq. Yeah, no, so of course, uh, you know, the checkered history of the United States, which you are highlighting, that's, that's also, of course, significant, but that's another debate for another day. Let's talk about these fighter jets which have been given uh, to Pakistan by the US. What do you think, what can India do possibly through diplomatic channels? Can we now urge upon US to at least stop, uh, you know, working with Pakistan? Because clearly, our pleas in the past have gone unheard, considering that once again, over and above, uh, you know, the F-16s which US had provided Pakistan earlier, there is an addition to the fleet. Well, actually, you are absolutely right, and my apologies for getting a bit carried away and deviating from there. Yes, you're right. Right now, let's talk about the F-16 which US is giving in Pakistan. What India can do, India can definitely appeal to US. US has a gumption to tell us, right, that you are buying oil from Russia and, and they express this pleasure and they call India stand shaky and such things. India now should actually tell US, what is this? What is this all about? Please explain. On one hand, you talk about coming terrorism. On the other hand, it's been proved in actually on ground in 1999, the infiltrators who came across from uh, Pakistan to India were not any uh, terrorists or this. They, they were terrorists, yes, but they were not civilians. They were a regular Pakistan army personnel with valid identity cards. So when US gives F-16 to Pakistan, they should know 
that they are supplying that to a terrorist state. They would be used in terrorizing. So it's not any aid. What US is doing to, to Ukraine by NATO helping out Ukraine, that's different. What US is doing to Taiwan by training their military incognito in civil dress, that's again different. But supplying, giving $4.5 million aid to Pakistan, F-16s to Pakistan, it is unacceptable. But who will say it? Who will call it out? Who will call out the shots? I don't think any nation has the courage or the guts to stand up to the US and tell them what you are doing is wrong. But India can talk it out in a very, very friendly manner. Just a couple of months back, we saw Joe Biden had come to our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and tapped him on his back. Mm. And, again, and he came himself. So yes, India is the only nation who can come forward and call us a spade and tell US, listen, you all know what relationship India has with Pakistan. And today, US needs India much more than India needs US. India is also a strategic partner of exactly. US. Exactly. That, that, you've hit the nail on its head by saying it's not just that the U, India needs US. The US needs us more than we need them. End of the day, in the Indo-Pacific region, if they plan to contain China, then India is going to play a crucial part. We'll have to wait and watch if India will be able to use its position to maneuver or convince the United States of America to, of course, stop providing these fighter jets to Pakistan. As of now, of course, India has already expressed its displeasure with the U.S. We'll have to wait and watch how this story develops. For now, Major Shah, thank you for joining us.